Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're going to be reviewing three of the four new re-release real Ghostbusters figures. Uh, I finally managed to find these guys. However, they only had three of them at the store. Uh, I have not been able to find Vankman yet. Uh, once I do, I will do a review on him as well. But I wanted to go ahead and get this review done so I can take these guys out of the packages and display them. So anyway, as you can see here, we've got Winston Zedmore and Chomper Ghost, Egon Spangler and Gulper Ghost, Ray Stands and Rapper Ghost. And just looking at these guys, they bring back a lot of memories for me as a kid. I remember playing with the originals as a child. They were some of my favorite toys. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. We'll go ahead and move these guys out of the way. And we'll start with Egon. So as you can see with Egon, they've got the the real Ghostbusters, no ghost logo up top. Who are you going to call? Ages four and up. You got Egon there blasting the ghost. And he's saying, I ain't afraid of no ghost. Uh, action zapping Ray with Neutrin Neutrona blaster and proton pack accessories from Kenner. So you've got Egon here. You've got the uh, ghost, the gulper ghost, and you've got his proton pack and Neutrona wand. On the back here, you have all four Ghostbusters displayed. Uh, join the real Ghostbusters in their ghost chasing pursuits. You can collect all the real Ghostbusters heroes and ghosts and stage your own supernatural battles. Peter Venkman and Grabber Ghost, the fast talking natural leader of the group who wants to become a national ghost hunting hero. Ray Stance and Rapper Ghost, the energetic enthusiast who can't get enough of blasting ghosts. Egon Spangler and Gulper Ghost, the absent-minded electronic genius who is responsible for the group's zany ghost-chasing equipment. Winston Zedmore, which... It's that uh, the real Ghostbusters are notorious for spelling the last name wrong uh, for Winston. It's actually Zedmore, not Zedemore. And Chomper Ghost, the practical common sense member of the group who tries to keep the real Ghostbusters from getting completely out of hand. You've got the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, the largest and wildest of all ghosts. He represents the real Ghostbusters' biggest challenge. And then you got the green ghost, the hungriest of all ghosts. He is now on the side of the real Ghostbusters. No pizza or donut is safe when he's around. So let's zoom in here. And we've got the Neutrono Blaster. Snaps onto sides of Proton Pack for storage. Press peg on Proton Pack into hole in body of action figure. Backpack must be in upright position as shown. Slide Neutrona Blaster onto right arm as shown. Twist handle on Neutrona Blaster for action zapping ray. Now, the Neutrona Blaster, uh, the little pieces that fit around the arms were notorious back in the day for being, being very brittle. Um, many many a Ghostbusters lost the use of their Neutrona Blasters. Um, if you took them on and off, they would break very, very easily. So we're going to try not to do that. So now, let's go ahead and open Egon up and take a look.
So first and foremost, let's take a look at Egon. You got standard action figure pose. Very cool. Got the no, no ghost logo there on the side. Nothing on this side. Um, you got the straps for the proton pack uh, and the peg piece here. You got his utility belt. And yes, that is what it's called, a utility belt. I know when we think of utility belts, we think of Batman. But the Ghostbusters had utility belts too. Got his combat boots here. Egon's infamous red glasses and rat tail. And he's only got one elbow pad. I'm not sure what the reason for that is. Um, you would think they would have put sculpted uh, both arms with elbow pads, but no. Um, so maybe they expect kids to, or adult collectors to display them like this. I don't know. Very cool. Very good sculpt. Now here's the Proton Pack and Neutrino Blaster. Very reminiscent of the originals. And it... I guess with this, since... Since the proton stream can't come out, um, you should display it like that. And I did notice. Oh no. All right. Whew. This part is made out of a much thicker plastic than the originals, um, which is very good. Uh, the only problem is these. Yeah, these are made out of a thicker plastic, but if you take it on and off too many times, this will begin to weaken. So I don't recommend that. And then to put the proton pack on Egon, this peg goes into this hole. Just like that. And then his arm slides straight through there. Just like that. Very cool. I like that. Now back in the day, these didn't last long at all. Uh, probably the most brittle part of the Ghostbusters toy was the uh, actual proton stream. So we're going to try and keep from breaking that this time around. And here is the ghost. And these ghosts would fit right onto our fingers just like that. <sighs> and it they do seem to be made out of a thicker plastic as well. Um, but translucent, uh, translucent yellow. And... They don't have that original smell. You guys, uh, back in the day, you remember the smell that these ghosts had, right? Uh, very, very different smell. Um, you would know, <laughs> you would know that smell anywhere. But these, they kind of have it if you smell the inside, but the outside, the uh, outer plastic does not have the smell. So anyway, next, let's go ahead and take a look at Ray. All right, guys. So here we have Ray stands. And once again, he's only got the one elbow pad and the one no ghost logo. Um, <laughs> and, you know, I do remember that uh, he is, a, he does look just like his ori original figure, a little shorter. A little tubbier. <laughs> One of the few action figures that actually had <laughs> displayed a fat guy. <laughs> Between him and the penguin, that was fat guy's uh, <laughs> use in 
action figure form. <laughs> of course, Ray is more, he looks more like me. Uh, I may be a little bit pudgier though. <laughs> Uh, he's got the red hair, uh, brown eyes. Very nice. Got the proton pack straps and the utility belt, even though the utility belt is mostly covered by his gut. Very cool. And the proton pack and wand are the exact same. So we just plug it in there. And put his arm through. Now this one... It doesn't hold as secure as Egon's. And his hand, it is a softer plastic. Uh, the arms are very soft plastic, not as hard as the rest of the body. Uh, the legs are also of a uh, softer plastic as well. Um, and I think this is pretty much how the original Ray... Uh, the same problem the original Ray had as well. So what I liked, liked to do was just put it on his arm like that. That way it held it more secure. And now that I've, now that I've done that, I do remember that's what I did with my original Ray stance figure. Was I had to put his arm all the way through in order for it to hold securely. Really cool. And now here's the wrapper ghost now this one you can't really put on your finger um, it's a solid mold not transparent at all very very solid uh, harder plastic uh, however you can stretch his tail out very cool so now we'll go ahead and take a look at Winston Zedmore. All right, so here's Winston. Um, same basic, everything. Uh, he is a little bit shorter than Egon, um, skinnier than Ray. Uh, his arms are made of a softer plastic, along with his legs. Uh, his chest, his torso is of a harder plastic. Same with his head. And since we didn't really go through the articulation with the other two, we'll do it with him. So his head can't, their heads can turn all the way around, arms all the way around, uh, no waist swivel, no elbow joint, no wrist joint, uh, legs can go up and down, uh, can only go back about that far though. That's the extent of their articulation. We'll go ahead and put the proton pack on. And I believe, let's see here, does he have the same problem? Uh, not as bad, um, but yeah, we'll hold his like that. Uh, that seems to most, be the most stable way for Winston to hold his. Um, same proton stream articulation. Very nice. We'll go ahead and set him to the side. Take a look at his ghost. Now, this ghost did actually make an appearance in a first season episode. Uh, I can't remember the name of the episode, but this was that canary, that demonic canary from Granny's house. Uh, you remember when the Ghostbusters got a call? Uh, this house appeared out of nowhere. They go in, and everything in this house is demonic or possessed or whatever the canary transforms into a demonic bird granny uh transforms into a demonic spirit and you can fit him on your finger so that's cool uh his beak does have a little bit of articulation but that's about it all right, guys, so when displaying these guys, you got to remember, don't cross the streams. Crossing the streams is bad. <laughs> and I almost crossed the streams when I was standing these guys up. But it's okay because they didn't cross the streams. 
Uh, I I really wish I was able to find a Bankman uh, that he would have really brought this uh, this team together. And as hard as it may seem to believe, when I was a kid, the only figure from this line I was not able to get my hands on was a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Never managed to own one. My best friend in school at the time. He and his brother both had one, but we were never able to find one. And it sucked because he was my grail. <laughs> and now, with that, let's go ahead and bring in uh, another version of Winston from the original line. Uh, I forget which, which actual line that he was from, uh, but along with... Um, Eon from another line <laughs> from the same real original real Ghostbusters line uh, different series though and it does look like both Winstons are pretty much the same sculpt it appears uh, the only difference is the paint um, the color of their face and hair and the paint on their uniforms. But other than that, these guys really look like they could have been a part of the same line. Um, the re-release molds are the same as the originals. So I'm very pleased. And once I get Venkman, I will do a full-on review. As you can see, Peter Venkman is here finally. My collection... Of the four main Ghostbusters is complete. Um, and as you can tell by the background, it's been a few days since I filmed the, the other three. Uh, I had my uh, background rolled up. And I wasn't really expecting him today. Or else I would have ironed it out. Um, but I got him. And I wanted to go ahead and film. So that's why the background is a little bit wrinkly. So as you can see, there he is in the package. Um... Pretty much the same basic pass package as the other three. Uh, you got Peter on the top there. Blasting a ghost. And then there's the back. Exactly the same as the other three. So let's waste no time and take him out of the box. Alright, so first and foremost, here is the grabber ghost. Very nice. And I do believe this is one of the ghosts that comes in the Ghostbusters the board game. Very cool. Very translucent, almost translucent, a little bit darker and more solid on the inside on this part. But his arms do have a softer plastic. They can move a little bit. Uh, feet can tilt a bit. But yeah. And then we have Venkman right here. And as you may notice, he has the green eyes just like the original. I always thought those were some creepy looking green eyes. <laughs> and he has the same articulation as the other three Ghostbusters. Head can turn all the way around. Arms all the way around. And legs straight up, not so much back because of how the joint here hits the butt. Very nice. And we'll go ahead, lower this a bit. All right. And now we'll go ahead and take a look at the pack. The pack is pretty much the same as the other three. Uh, I hope Toy Hacks does some stickers. For the packs. That'd be nice. Come on. Focus. There we go. Be nice to have some stickers for the packs. Um, and his proton stream is green. Uh, it may glow in the dark. I'm not sure. I haven't tested that out yet. Let's see. Nope. It does not glow in the dark. To my knowledge. Uh, but still pretty cool. Let's go ahead and plug it in. And 
And then we'll Bankman was always difficult to get the proton stream in his hand. So there is Peter Bankman with the grabber ghost. All right. And now we'll bring the other three down because this review would not be complete if we did not put them side by side. There's Winston, there's Ray, there's Egon, and then Rapper Ghost came with Ray. If he'll stand, there we go. Chomper Ghost came with Winston. It's my dog whining out there. And Gulp or Ghost came with Egon. There you have it, guys. Four real Ghostbusters re-releases from Hasbro, which owns the Kenner toy line. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Make sure you come back again real soon for another toy review. I've been Shannon. This has been Comic Gun TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Gun TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.